Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. We're going to graph the exponential function f of x equals 2 thirds to the x by plotting points. So before we actually start to graph the function, there are a few things we need to keep in mind. First, this is going to involve raising a fraction to powers. So here are a couple of tips. If the power is positive, we're going to raise both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction to that power. For example, to raise 2 thirds to the power 3 is the same as taking 2 to the third over 3 to the third. Raising 2 to the third power means multiplying 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to give you 8. And raising 3 to the third power will give you 27. So 2 thirds to the third power is 8 27ths. And by the way, if you're using your calculator to calculate something like 2 to the third power, you're probably going to see one of two kinds of buttons. Either you will press the 2 and then a little caret symbol and then the 3, or you're going to have maybe a button that looks more like x to the y or y to the x. Another thing to keep in mind is you might have to raise 2 thirds to a negative exponent. Raising to a negative exponent tells you that you're going to take the reciprocal of the number. So for example, if I were to raise 2 thirds to the negative second power, this would be the same as raising 3 halves, the reciprocal, when we flipped over the fraction, to the positive second power. And then from there, we can do the same thing we did before. This would be 3 to the second over 2 to the second, which is going to be 9 fourths. And another situation that comes up is raising this fraction to the 0 power. Anytime you raise a number to the 0 power, you're going to get 1. Another thing that's good to know when you're going to graph an exponential function by plotting points is what to expect the graph to look like. Any function of this form is called an exponential function because we have a variable x in the exponent. The graph is going to be one of two types of graphs. It will either look like this, rising from left to right, but never crossing the x-axis, or it'll look like this, falling from left to right, but never crossing the x-axis. Those two lines, y equals zero along the x-axis, are called asymptotes. While it is possible to cross an asymptote sometimes, in these functions, that will never happen. So keeping all of this in mind, let's go ahead and plot some points. When you're graphing an exponential function, you're going to want to plug in a few negative values, zero, and a few positive values. So let's start by calculating 2 thirds to the negative third power. 2 thirds to the negative third power, since the exponent is negative, we're going to flip that over, find the reciprocal. This is the same as taking 3 halves to the third power, which is 3 to the third over 2 to the third, which is 27 over 8. So I'm going to put that into my chart. Now let's raise 2 thirds to the negative second power. That's going to give us 3 halves to the positive 2 power, which is 3 squared over 2 squared, or 9 fourths. Let's raise 2 thirds to the negative 1 power. Well, that's going to be 3 halves raised to the positive 1 power. But anything to the first power is itself, so this is just going to be 3 halves. Now let's raise 2 thirds to the 0 power. Anything raised to the zero power is just going to be one. Now let's raise two thirds to the first power. Anything to the first power is itself, so that's just going to be two thirds. Now let's raise two thirds to the second power. That's going to be two squared over three squared, which is four ninths. And now let's raise two thirds to the third power. That's going to be two cubed over three cubed, which is going to be eight twenty sevenths. Now before we start plotting points, it's usually easier to think in terms of decimals. So we can go ahead and divide 27 by 8 on our calculator and see that it's about 3.4. And we'll do this for all of our fractions so that we have an easier time figuring out where the point is located on our graph. 
All right, so let's start plotting points. Negative 3, 3.4 would be about here between, or up at between 3 and 4 there. Negative 2, 2.3 would be maybe about here. Uh, negative 1, 1 1.5 looks like it would be right about there. 0, 1 is going to be here. 1.7 would be here. Uh, 2 and 0 0.4 would be about here. And 3 and then 0 0.3 would be about here. So it looks like this is going to be one of the versions of an exponential function that is falling from left to right. And if you think about it, it makes sense because we're raising a number two-thirds, which is about 0.7, to larger and larger powers. Every time you multiply 0.7 times itself, you're going to get a smaller and smaller decimal. On the other hand, on the left, when we flip over the fraction, we're actually raising three halves, or 1.5, to greater and greater powers going this way. In that case, the values are going to get bigger and bigger because you're raising a number greater than one to larger and larger positive powers. We should always draw in our asymptotes as a dashed line. And again, we should label our asymptotes and our coordinates. I'm going to use the fraction version of my y-coordinates to label them because those are exact values. They're not rounded off. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Miss Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos.